The conundrum of leadership, divine or otherwise, is as old as the written word itself. The Bible does speak to God's hand in leadership, but it doesn't necessarily promise every leader will be excellent or even good. First, we need to address the presupposition of such a statement. The idea that leadership is ordained has been employed to justify the divine right of kings, a theory that monarchs are subject to no earthly authority, deriving the right to rule directly from the will of God. However, having the mandate of the heavens doesn't guarantee competence or benevolence. In terms of human history, think of it this way. If every leader, from kings to presidents to prime ministers, were profound, just, and effective, then history books would be boring, and the world would arguably be a utopia. Yet we live in a world that is vibrantly complex, filled with strife and conflict, which ironically is a stage for both the worst and best of leaders to emerge. Second, let's consider free will. Many theological interpretations suggest that God allows humanity a certain degree of latitude when it comes to decision-making. Human agency often influences who rises to power, through systems like democracy, hereditary succession, or even less savory methods like usurpation or despotism. Third, leadership is not merely a title or position, it's a skill and a service. As much as some leaders may feel they were divinely appointed, they may lack the skills necessary to lead effectively. Just because someone is at the helm doesn't mean they're steering the ship well. Moreover, people's beliefs about what constitutes a good leader drastically vary. What is deemed virtuous or strong leadership in one culture or era might be considered tyrannical or weak in another. Now let's bring it a bit closer to home. Here in Portland, as in any city, we've seen our share of leaders, each with their distinct approach and efficacy. We've seen the negative consequences when leadership doesn't align with the needs of the populace. The protests and social unrest in the summer of 2020 are case in point. It doesn't require divine interpretation to see that leadership is an art that some learn more adeptly than others. Leadership coming from God is a concept that offers comfort and order to many, indicating a larger divine plan at work. However, having useless heads of state might be interpreted as the inherent growing pains of a world where humans are granted the freedom to lead and follow, succeed and fail, all while striving to discern the divine mingling with the mundane. The bottom line is that leaders are human, given to the same faults, missteps and potential for growth as any of us. And if there is divine involvement in their rise, perhaps it's a test or a lesson for them and the rest of us. After all, adversity often breeds resilience and ingenuity, whether you're leading a country or simply leading your life down here in rainy Portland.